What's good, y'all? I'm about to show y'all a play that beats every zone. Like, you can flood any zone with this play just because how deep the corner route is. And I usually like to use this against something like the cover three Mabel. I'm going to show you it's called the bunch curl flat. I'm going to show you the adjustment. You just want to streak B, put X on a slant, and then you probably want to put your running back on either an out route or you can put him on a curl. That's the setup. Uh, you're going to see we're going to motion this guy out. Uh, Y'all see... Usually when you want to motion him, you want to pit him on a fade route, pit, pit B on a fade route. And then so when you motion him, he still gets the speed burst or just in case you can get a touchdown. But then if not, y'all going to see against Mabel, boom, and all you want to do is possession, catch it, get down. And uh, this is what I like to go to when I need a super dot. And if they do manage to cover all that somehow, like the only thing they can do is really use it at. Like, boom, they go using it, and they doing that. Then you can throw it to X, and you got that route right underneath. So, it's really, you're really making them choose either do they want to get gashed for 30, 40 yards, or they want to get gashed for, like, 10 yards. And if all else fails, you can throw it to your running back on an out or on a hitch. The play is pretty self-explanatory. It makes him with your scheme because everything looks the same. They don't know if corner strike is coming. They don't know what play is coming. Because everything looks the same. You motion that guy out. You just have multiple routes uh, concepts. You got multiple plays you're choosing from. Just hopefully y'all mixing this up and y'all not just uh, spamming these plays. Like, look, it's just cover three Mabel. Like, this destroys cover three Mabel. You're going to make force them to use their people and make adjustments because they can't, like, you know what I'm saying? They can't guard everything on the field. Like, well, Mabel, the middle is usually wide open, and that's why I like this play so much. I love this play. But usually you want to uh, you wanna make sure you get the timing with the throw down. Like, right when he cuts, he wants to throw it. You want to throw it, and then you want to possession catch it. And the reason why, why I say the speed burst is so important is because the faster that guy is on the outside, the more he pulls that corner away. Like, y'all see how Josh Norman is trying to come over there and make a play, play on that? Like, so when I get that speed, right, like, y'all see when I throw that Josh Norman breaks on it? The faster that guy is out of there, the more room he's going to have to catch it, the more successful you're going to be. Uh, so remember, uh, use this mainly against cover three. Maybe you can use it. This will beat any zone. Like you need a third and 15. You need some type of dot. They're not expecting that. Don't spam this play. But I hope you all enjoy this. If you got any questions, let me know.